So today I'm going to show you how to record your screen on a Mac running uh, OS X El Capitan. Um, it'll probably work on a few other versions, but this is one I've actually tested on, and it's the newest, so I figured I'd just do the uh, video for this one. So uh, it's using this great open source uh, free program called OBS, uh, Open Broadcaster Software, and it's exactly the same on Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux, so it's a really handy program that if you switch between operating systems often or anything like that, it's going to be the same across all of them, and it works really well, so it's just a really good program to use. So um, I'll put a link to this website in the description, but it's just obsproject.com, and then you just go to the download area, and then just hit this big green download button right here, and it will start the download. Um, once it's downloaded, then just double click on the uh, .dmg file, and it'll take a second to verify it, and then just double click on the OBS package here, and then it'll open up the installer. Uh, for the installer, you can just basically hit continue, continue, and then actually install, type in your password. And it's a pretty small program, so it should go really quickly. So when it's finished installing, just go to your applications, and uh, it'll be under uh, OBS, it's this little icon right here. And then, uh, it doesn't matter if you tell it to check for updates or not. So. Now you just need to set up the actual screen recording and then also your audio recording before you hit start recording right here. So the first thing to do is to go to the settings. And uh, there's a couple here that you have to work with. So you have to go to the video option on the left and you have to change this resolution to match your screen. Like actually I would change both of them. If you're a bit more advanced you'll know what these should be set to but uh, if just for the beginner basically set it to whatever your screen is. So I'm working with a 1080p screen right here so I'm going to set both of them to 1920 by 1080. If you're on a 720p it'd be 1280 by 720p. Basically just google your screen if you're not sure and then set it to whatever your screen is supposed to be set at. Um, so then uh, you also need to set up your output. So for the output you need to set your video bitrate the default should work fine if you're on a lower resolution setting. If the video comes out looking a little grainy or a little compressed or anything, then just change this number to be higher. Like for 1080p video, it should probably be somewhere between like 9,000 and 15,000 uh, for the bitrate. So just if it comes out not looking very good, just bump that number up. Uh, the only problem is the higher the number is, the better the quality will be, but also the file size will get much larger. So just keep that in mind. Then um, down here, you can change your recording format. So I choose MP4 just because it's a really common one, but you can use any of these, and it's basically just whichever one you need. Uh, I think Google, uh, for YouTube uploads, they suggest MP4, so you might want to just leave it on that one. So once you've set those two, just hit OK here, and now we just need to add the screen recording. So under Sources here, you just click the plus sign, and then it's going to give you a bunch of options here. Display capture will capture the actual your all of your display. So just click on that one and then hit OK here because it doesn't really matter what the name is. And then you'll see that it pops up and it's already recording the screen right here. And if you had multiple monitors, then you could change it in this uh, display list here for which display you want it to capture. And then you can choose if you want it to show the cursor or not. So once you've set your uh, options here, just hit OK and you'll see it's already basically recording what you have on the screen. But uh, the one other thing, some people might want to record audio and some people might not. So basically, if you want to record, uh, if you don't want to record audio, just drag this one, all, the volume here, all the way down to nothing, and then you won't have any audio in the recording. If you want to have record, uh, audio recording, uh, if you want to have the microphone, then you can just basically uh, hit this setting, this uh, little gear for settings right here, and go to properties, and then select which microphone you want to use right here. Uh, like so mine is just the default one if you had like a USB microphone it would show up here as a different name and then just select one you want and hit OK uh, if you want to record your system audio so the audio that you would hear playing like uh, any warning noises from Windows or any sounds from a game or anything like that then you have to set up the audio output capture so to do that just hit the plus over here and do audio output capture and then hit OK and then you can just select what audio output. Uh, I don't have an audio output on this one, so there's nothing in this list, 
but if you had like a headphone jack or anything like that, it would show up right here and you could just select it. And then it would record everything that would be output on that jack. So now that everything here is set up, we can actually just start recording. So that process is super simple. Basically just hit start recording right here. And then whenever you're, then you just do your stuff. And then when you're finished, just hit stop recording. And now it's saved a file of that recording. And to actually find out where it is, you just need to go up to the file menu and then click show recording and it'll just open up a folder that has your recording in it. And then it just uh, saves them by date created. So today's the 12th, so it's just this one. And then you can just double click on it to play it and you'll see it uh, once I hit play here that it just recorded my screen exactly. So it's a, it's a great software, super easy to use just with that little bit of setup and work, you can record everything on your screen as well as a microphone and uh, just then upload the files right to YouTube or do some editing on it if you want. I'll have some videos in the future on how to actually edit the videos that you create, but for now this is the simplest way to record your screen on Mac OS X El Capitan.